the Little Museum of Dublin. The best museum experience in Dublin. Let's go. So we've just got in and you get a guided tour around one floor and we're lucky we're just getting it. So just got in. Two of us, yeah. Another commander in Stephen's Green was this woman, Countess Markovich. But Countess Markovich did not die for her country. Why was that? She was Polish. She was married to a Polish count. She was Irish. She was a woman. What did you say? She was a woman. Because she was a woman, that's exactly right. The British would not execute Countess Markovich based solely on her sex because she was a woman. And Countess Markovich did not like that. Once to the band, they said, young men may loot, perjure and shoot, and even have carnal knowledge. But however depraved, their souls will be saved if they don't go. Well done. Brilliant. Whoever said women is right as well. That's true as well. Women couldn't attend Trinity College up until 1907. There was a provost, like a principal of the college at the time, who was a really conservative man, George Salmon. He is supposed to have said that women will enter Trinity College over my dead body. He then very obligingly died, and the first women were immediately admitted. I'm not saying Shoes. Brilliant. Spot on. After one second. Well done. They were using the leather to fix the holes in the soles of their shoes. Not a bad idea. But then what did the Butcher Social Union do? Started punching holes in the cards. That made them useless. Quick fire round. Did World War II happen in Ireland? No. What does that even mean? The answer is no. Well done. Ireland was neutral in World War II. We only had a state of emergency. Now despite our neutrality, Gas masks like this from here were distributed in Dublin in case of attack. The only problem is these gas masks were more dangerous to wear than the gas itself was. <laughs> so we've just had the half hour tour and now we're going to look around the house. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, I like really it. Really yeah. good. She was really good at it. I got a little bit on camera, so you've obviously seen it. But this is um, just a few clips of the rest of the Little Museum of Dublin. I can't know man truly unfortunate who has not been condemned to live in Ireland. In truth, the larger stage is suitable, but they remain determined to capitalise this. And just like the Dublin Stadium group, they once again took a big risk at their own expense. They staked everything on recording the album that would showcase to the world just what an incredible life act they were. They knew they had the world's ear and they didn't want to lose it. 